Hey, and welcome to this introduction video. In this video, I want to share what this course is about, who this course is designed for, and whether you should take it. In this course, we will learn to build a travel theme skeleton app from start to end. We will focus on a high-level flow, which we focus on the onboarding, login, and sign-up process with Firebase. This course is designed for beginners, and we take it with a step-by-step -step approach. Also, we will learn to build this app with the MVC architecture, with Swift 5 and the latest Xcode 11. Okay, so who is this for? This course is designed for beginners with at least 6 months experience. This means that you need to have some basic competency with Swift to take this course. This course is designed for someone who wants to build a fully functional app instead of demo apps. You will learn the thought process and how you can create a production-grade app from scratch. This course is also designed for someone who wants to become a full-time software engineer. In this course, you will learn to structure the app professionally. You will learn about the Firebase SDK, how you can use Firebase authentication to manage user sessions. You will learn about signing up a new user, logging in, logging out, and setting out a password reset link. These materials are freshly updated. You will also learn about writing global helper methods, implementing singleton patterns, creating services, and storing configurations in a constant file. You will also learn about code refactoring which we will perform multiple times throughout this course, all of which are super useful skills as a developer. Above all, whatever you learn here is very, very reusable. This means that once you know all this stuff, you can build out any genre of apps that require an onboarding flow and user authentication. Hey guys, how's it going? In this short section, I want to show you about the app that we'll be building together in this course. So if you see with me over here, I have the iPhone 11 Pro Max Simulator on my screen and I have the app already installed. So I'm going to click on this and notice that we are loading a loading screen which determines whether the user is locked in or not. So because we have not been locked in yet, I am brought to the onboarding flow which is this uh, screen over here where the user can kind of find out more about what the app is about. So the user can scroll through the images and read the text below and when the user is uh, happy with what he or she is reading and decide that hey I want to proceed I want to sign up I want to find out more the user can click on this get started button all right so by clicking on this button it opens up a view over here which uh, has a tab bar over here so the user can either perform a login or a sign up over here and notice that when I click on this sign up button over here the elements on this screen change and all these things are done within the same view controller all right, so because I don't have a user yet, so let, let us sign up a brand new user. So let's go with a user at example.com. And for the password, we can do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, for the password confirmation, we need to type in the same uh, password that we typed previously. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so notice that I didn't type in eight over here, which means that uh, both passwords do not match. When I click on the sign up button, we will receive an error to say that, hey, passwords are incorrect, which means that we perform some form validation over here. So I'm going to hit the 8 button and now this time uh, both passwords are consistent and I'm going to click on the sign up button. Alright, so notice that we have the uh, animation. We are brought to the main part of the app itself which is this tab bar controller. Alright, so this is a very simple view with home as well as settings over here and notice that we have our email which we just freshly registered on this um, label over here which tells us that the app will recognize uh, the user. All right, so if I am to close the app, okay, I'm to close the app, and if I'm to reopen the app again, the app loads the previous user session and brings me back to this main part of the app instead of the onboarding flow. All right, so now I can click on settings and uh, hit the lockout button. So this time I'll be brought to the main, sorry, the onboarding part of the app over here. So I can click on get started again, and this time let us uh, lock in. So let's do with user at uh, example. Dot com and this time for the password it's one two eight but I'm gonna type in one two three four five which means this is an this is an incorrect password. When we click on this login button, it actually performs an authentication uh, with the Firebase authentication uh, server and tells us that the user is invalid. All right, so we get the error response from uh, Firebase. All right, this time maybe let me type in the correct password. 
one to eight, and let's click on the login button. So you see that uh, there will be an animation, the keyboard will dismiss, and the user will be brought to the main part of the app. All right, so I can come back to settings and just lock out again. All right, guys, I hope that this video demonstration is useful and you'll be learning tons of stuff in this course, and I hope to see you soon.